Massachusetts tonight, three people have now died from the coronavirus, bringing the total number of deaths in the state to five. Here's what we know right now. The state health department says two of the people who died are men in their 70s from Hampton and Berkshire counties. The third person is a man in his 90s from Suffolk County. There are also more than 100 new COVID-19 cases in the Bay State, bringing the total to 646. Of those cases, 24 are in Bristol County. That includes the first cases in Seekonk, Swansea, and Somerset. In Rhode Island, Governor Gina Raimondo announcing 17 more people have been diagnosed, bringing the state's total number of cases to 83. Today, the governor ordering more businesses to shut down across the state, saying if Rhode Islanders don't follow her orders, she will be forced to implement a statewide lockdown, something she says she does not want to do. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh begins our team coverage tonight with the governor's latest efforts to keep the coronavirus from spreading. As another work week is set to begin, Governor Raimondo is reminding people that still go into an office setting to stay at least six feet apart from each other, constantly sanitize their area, and for employers to personally greet each worker to ensure that they seem physically healthy. She said there will be officials spot checking office buildings and making sure everyone is in compliance. Knock it off. This is serious business. And if we keep seeing what we're seeing, then we're going to have to move to a statewide lockdown. Governor Gina Raimondo pleading with Rhode Islanders to follow the directive and stay home as she announced 17 new cases of COVID-19 Sunday, bringing the total in Rhode Island to 83. What we do in these next two weeks will determine our collective future. At her news conference Sunday, Raimondo said she knows what these restrictions are doing to local businesses, but was compelled to sign another executive order forcing recreation and entertainment in-person facilities to close at 5 p.m. Monday. Theaters, cinemas, spas, barbershops, nail salons, beauty salons. Uh, tattoo shops. Monday, she said, should not be a final day of business, but instead a day for employers to prepare for the temporary closures. I'm also directing any business service personnel who can work from home to work from home. I'm talking about accountants, lawyers, human resources professionals, we, most of you guys can work from home. In the meantime, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will be coming to Rhode Island this week to ready buildings for an overflow of patients if the hospitals reach capacity, which she said is likely, but not the case right now. Looking ahead to Monday afternoon's press briefing, Governor Raimondo said she expects to make further announcements about restriction domestically into Rhode Island, as well as announcements about child care options for people who must still go into work. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.